Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app. It's a one-stop shop for all the information you need to make smarter bets. Download the LineStar app today. Welcome to the NBA Prop Show presented by LineStar, your top three NBA player prop bets for today that are available on Underdog, Sleeper, Chalkboard, and Parlay Play. Alongside my co-host, Tyler Weeman, I'm Shannon Somerville. We've got some great picks for you. And of course, Tyler, the Knicks pick streak continues. On Friday, we cashed yet another Knicks pick. So we're going to start one off uh, with a Knicks pick for today. But before we do, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below because every day on this show, we like to give out money if we win and cash our entry. So if we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $50. So to enter into that, all you need to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. It's that easy and you're in it to win it. All right, our picks are available once again on Underdog Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. If you download those apps for the first time, make sure to use the promo code LINESTAR so you can get a nice deposit match plus one free month of the LINESTAR app. That's the app that we are using to help us find the best value. The tool that we are using is specifically called the Props AI tool. It helps you find the best value by comparing LineStar's projection to what's out there in the prop market and shows you where the greatest edge is. You will see throughout this video some graphics pop up, and that is the LineStar app in action. So you can check that out for yourself at linestarapp.com. But let's get into it, Tyler. Nick's pick streak is continuing. Let's see if it continues tonight. I'm going to run it back to the guy who cashed for us on Friday. Granted, it was with the help of Carl Anthony Towns being out in that game. So we got much more volume. But OG and Anobi were running it back to him on this Monday. Over 24 and a half points and rebounds. Line stars projection for OG's 28.7 of this stat combo. He's averaging 26.6 points and rebounds in the month of November and has been over that 24 and a half mark for the last five games. Going up against a Washington Wizards team that is bottom of the league in just about every category. 30th in opponent points per game, 30 in opponent second chance points, 29th in opponent rebounds per game. The other thing to consider here, I think, is Carl Anthony Towns. He came back from injury over the weekend on uh, actually yesterday, and he took kind of a hard fall in the game. Now, he's not listed on the injury report, but I personally have some concerns about um, how he's going to be feeling out there tonight. So in that case, going to OG and an OB, I love Cat's spot, definitely a smash spot from a stat perspective against a very poor Washington Wizards team. But OG and Anobi's also been pretty solid as well. They're still dealing with some injuries. Mitchell Robinson's still out. Precious Achua is still out. You got Miles McBride on the bench as well. So they got to play some minutes. OG's going to get those minutes, and I think he will cash in on the over here. What's your take? Yeah, my big thing is that Miles McBride is out of this game. And with that, OG is going to be in line for another 40, 41 minute appearance, which we have seen a few of, you know, down the last mm -hmm. couple of games. And in a great spot versus Washington, it makes some sense to go to the over here. This line is pretty low. He can easily get six to eight boards. You know, he yeah. scores from double digits regularly, and there's a clear path. All right, so next up, let's go to Sixers guard Kyle Lowry under nine and a half points and rebounds. Line source projection for Lowry is just 6.2, consensus 6.5. And in fact, Lowry is just averaging nine points and rebounds per game this season and has been under seven of the last 10 games. Going up against his former squad, uh, Miami ninth in points to opposing point guards. So it's a tougher matchup as well. This is also one of the lowest game totals of the night at 212. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be a fast pace high scoring affair in which case that lends itself to some unders tonight especially for Kyle Lowry even though Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey are out in this one are you still on the side of the under Tyler absolutely I mean Lowry his minutes are all over the place he's regularly playing you know big or regularly just you know there's no consistency with his mm -hmm. minutes whatsoever but playing 27 minutes a game over the last five as a starter he's Averaging 6.6 .6 here, that's points plus rebounds. So yeah. he's really just not giving anything when uh, he's on the court. And then Miami, seventh for versus point guard so far this season. It's a very tough spot. And they're getting Jimmy Butler back, which will only help their team defense. So I think Lowry's in a tough spot. If you don't want to go to Lowry because you don't like playing – you know, points plus rebounds yeah. at nine and a half, which I know that's a very low number. He just hasn't been doing anything. You could pivot to Jared McCain under 29.5 uh, points, rebounds, and assists. I know he's been absolute great this season, but 
I have a very hard time believing that he can keep scoring 30 Mm -hmm. points a game. (laughs) All right. That is true. All right. Lastly, let's round off our list here with Atlanta Hawks guard Dyson Daniels over 12 points. Line starts projections all the way at 17.2, averaging 15.3 per game. And in fact, that's gone up to 16.7 over the last month uh, in November, over in five of eight in that time span and going up against Sacramento, a team that ranks 21st in points to opposing shooting guards, about 24 per game to him. So Dyson Daniels in a good spot. What do you think? Yeah, he keeps producing, you know, he's over 20 points per 100. It's a good pace spot continually getting over. And I think, he's going to have to play big minutes tonight. His defense is what really does it for this team. And the Kings being so hurt on offense, they're really going to want him to key in on uh, Darren Fox and slow Darren Fox down. And that's really the key to Atlanta winning this game is Daniels playing good D playing a lot of minutes with Fox on Fox. And with that is going to come some scoring opportunities. I think 12 is just a little bit too low when he's been so good so far this year. All right. So let's put all of those picks on an entry on underdog fantasy. Uh, OG and Anobi over 24 and a half points and rebounds. Lowry under nine and a half points and rebounds and Daniels over 12 points. Let us know what you think of our picks in the comments. If you've got any locks for NBA tonight, make sure to drop them in the comments below because we're all here to help each other out and beat the books. That's the common goal here. And if you haven't already, check out our NFL picks as well. We've got a couple picks for you in Monday Night Football, which is... I mean, the Cowboys, can they get it together? I don't know, especially without their quarterback in this one. We've got some takes on that one, so check out that show as well. And Tyler will be breaking things down from a daily fantasy perspective, so make sure you check out Take Down Tyler's Analysis. Don't miss it. All right, good luck, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow.